Language is alive. Words change according to its use, and through centuries we have been recording these words in dictionaries. One can trace the meaning change by searching for a particular word in the different editions of the normative dictionary. Another way to trace that change is by analysing the data stored in linguistics corpora. Our project is aimed at facilitating such analysis by means of highly interactive visual tools. In this example, we are interested in the word mena, or, which today has a meaning related to minerals, but also refers to a type of fish. We can exploit the data of the Corpus Diacrónico del Español, Orde, from the Real Academia Española, facilitating the understanding of the actual use of the word depending on its geographic, thematic or temporal dimension. For instance, let's see the use of mena in text from Spain classified as scientific prose. This video focuses, particularly in diachronics diagrams, a novel interactive representation for the evolution of the meanings of a word, stored in the different editions of the academic dictionary. Here we have the diachronics diagram for the word aislar, to isolate. Dictionary editions are placed on the columns, right to left in chronological order. Meanings are placed on the rows, top to bottom in ascending order. A line is drawn connecting all the relating meanings. A natural language processing algorithm computes these relationships. By avoiding the presentation of unnecessarily detailed information, the temporal patterns are easily perceived. The actual ordered list of meanings for each dictionary is available on the left. Also, all the views are coordinated. Diachronlex diagrams can be used both for analysis or presentation purposes. Taking this into account, we provide several options regarding the background grids. Diachronix diagrams are meant to provide an overview of the evolution of meanings. However, we support analytical tasks by means of several interactions. Now, let's have a look at the word mena. For a number of reasons, the similarity among meanings cannot be 100% accurate. As we can see, diachronix diagrams convey this uncertainty by using transparency on the connecting lines. The mapping between the similarity algorithm and the transparency can be adjusted by the user. The user can choose to use a layout of the diagram that follows the actual timeline, providing information about the pace of the meaning of change. We use subtle animations when the layout changes in order to reduce the cognitive load on the user's side. Details are provided in context. By hovering over or clicking on the different parts of the views, the evolution is highlighted, and the textual content of the involved meanings is presented. Diachronix diagrams work well with a high number of dictionaries. Let's see an example for the word humillar, to humiliate. Now, 27 different editions of the dictionary are available. Depending on the expertise of the analyst, some of them may not add much information, and it is safe to hide them. The connections among meanings are updated instantly. See now how the fourth erratic evolution line stands out. There even are meanings disappearing and coming back in later dictionaries. We cannot provide a lexicographic explanation to it, but once the fact is discovered, surely the expert will be able to. With the timeline layout, it becomes clear that a lot of changes happened in the last 50 years.
Now we are going to use the word gear, guide, to show a more complex example. The colour scheme used by default seems to work and different evolution lines can be distinguished. However, we can support the analyst in this task. A similarity on the shape of the evolution lines is computed and the patterns which are thus found can be coloured accordingly. At this point, the user may want to summarise those patterns. In order to do that, we compute the average position of the meanings in the pattern and we draw a single line per pattern with a width that depends on the number of lines that the pattern represents. The next step can be simplifying the branching lines. As a result of these operations, we can now pay attention to an interesting evolution line that has been hidden until now. In this particular case, we could discover the evolution lines by using one of the built-in filters, which searches for meanings which disappear and reappear. We have found two of them. In cases like this example, in which there are more than 30 different meanings, the list can be too long and the user needs to scroll up and down. We have implemented a condensed view that shows just part of the meaning in order to avoid scrolling. Finally, other colour schemes can be used that may fit a particular analysis case better. For instance, the rainbow scale is able to convey information about the present patterns, where the drastic drop of the bluish lines is evident. Besides the diagram links diagrams, we provide additional views which highlight emerging meanings, stars, or the related meanings. The connecting lines are still available, even in the case of the textual content views. Finally, these views can be used by editors to change connections using drag and drop operations and even to annotate them. Obviously, the tasks of the lexicographers need a great deal of time. So we have made user sessions available and included easy access to previous analysis.